Wakey420 here. I'm going to show you how to make a European mount today. Got my deer head proudly hung in the tree still. Already had the body cut up. Step one. Get your deer head. And turn this into this. I'm going to show you how I like to do it, guys. European mount or skull mount, however you want to call it. This set obviously ain't worth spending $500 on heavy mounted. Actually, this would make a nice little set of rattle horns. You whack them right off, you know, rattle them together for a real natural thing or for uh, making artificial scrapes on trees. Get a nice little buck like this, whack his horns off, scrape a little pine tree, make a little scraping, buck scrape, artificial buck scraping, bring bucks in the area. But what I like to do is make European mounts, so you're gonna have to come check it out. Maybe you can try it. Many different ways to do it. All right, guys, first off, we're gonna get the skin off the head of the deer. Some people probably be handy enough to actually skin it. If you know any lobster fishermen friends of yours, or you are a lobster fisherman, take your head. If you want to keep the bottom jaw, because the jaw is gonna come off, put a wire tie right around its snout, throw it in a trap, and. When you come back, it'll be a skull. Usually takes a week or two. Usually I put it right out on my traps right outside, but we're taking traps up right now. And I always like get nervous that just because I put that deer head in there, that'll be the first trap that gets parted right off and I'll <laughs> never see it again. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in the trap right along the shore here. One of my anchors. I float my buoys here. They scrub up against each other, clean up. Yeah, what I'm going to do is just throw it in the trap over here. Hopefully green crabs and wrinkles and other shit like that will clean this thing and do the work for me. If you're not anywhere near the ocean, I don't know, <laughs> throw it on an anthill. One thing you want to watch out for guys is that a dog or a coyote or something will not drag your deer head right off because I've had it happen before. No, I was not a happy man. A little spike horn, but it was a cool little spike horn. And I was cutting my deer out, left the head outside for about 40 minutes, and that thing was gone. Never saw it again. But, you probably imagine in a freshwater lake, you'd probably do the same thing somehow. Put this in a bag, or, you know, some mesh bag, or a bait trap. I don't know, improvise wherever, whatever state you're in. I'm gonna throw it in a lobster trap. Like I said, whatever state you're in, improvise, do whatever you gotta do. If I was gonna set this trap out in the ocean, I'd put it in the back of the trap and I'd try to wire tie it down just so it doesn't, most likely it ain't gonna come out. But wire tie it to the side or whatever for you fishermen around here. Try it out. Like I said, you gotta get the head cleaned off and that's a good way to do it. And we'll show you the next step in a week or two. I'll keep coming back and checking that. We'll come back then. Hey guys. Been a year since I started this video. I didn't grow this beard overnight. Here I am though finishing how to make a European mount and this would be the next step. Making it from the deer we made last uh, shot last year. Just haven't had time to freak with it. And basically guys, just gonna, you want to fill your bucket up with some water, dilute it, and get it, you can bleach the whole horn, but that will take away that natural color that you probably want to hunt, you know, have, so. We've got a bucket half filled up with water, you know, and I don't know if your head will fit, if your horns are too big, they won't fit inside there, but. You get the gist of it, use a bowl, use something so you can just fit the skull down inside there. I already put, uh, what's this, a half gallon of bleach or whatever in there, but I just using some water to get the whole skull covered. 
all that bleach is doing guys is whitening the skull out for you our next stage is going to be putting some shellac on there and going from there crucial part guys to when you uh, cleaning your skull with your bleach is not to use too much bleach because I've put it in straight bleach before and you'll get kind of a yellow uh, to the skull that you you know you want it as white as you can get it basically so just use some water to dilute it about 50 50 let it soak for a day and should be cleaned up enough to get to your next step well your next step is actually going to be drying it out once you dry it then you're ready for some shellac uh, spray spray on whatever you want so nice uh, coating to protect it and make it shiny okay guys okay. what I did was just it's at a delicate state here but I bleached it for a day and then I just soaked it in regular water for a day to give you I mean you can be as gentle as you want with it you get this type of that's from being in the bleach, but you can do it just perfect if you want to. But basically, what we're going to do now, guys, is put the lacquer to it. You can use anything really that you want. Get it right at Home Depot or wherever, hardware store. What I do, guys, is just start putting it to it. It should absorb a little bit at first. You can see it's starting to soak in already. Well, it cost me uh, $2 for a thing of bleach and about $5 for a can of spray on lacquer. Probably only have about 10 minutes actually wrapped up in this, putting this thing together. so. Really, it's, you know, for what you got and what you got invested, you got yourself a nice trophy. So, I'll probably end up doing that with the deer I shot this year. Let him dry and come back and we'll get him mounted on the wall next to the other As one. you can see, guys, here's our finished product all shined up on the wall. We got... All three of them lined up that I've done. I'm gonna do the same one to the seven pointer that I got this year. Would have liked to have had one that looked like this, boys and girls. Woo -hoo. But not this year. Not this year. The old Marcy. But like I said guys just a nice little thing to do whatever if you ain't gonna mount it nice little decoration good to hang up to camp or whatever I just got them hanging in the house here all I do to finish it up guys is I take a piece of string and just wrap it right around there I'm sure you could rig it up different ways mount it to a piece of wood maybe do different stuff with it but we got the two sixes and the seven hanging out but like I was saying, you can tell the size of the skulls is just different. That one was a more mature deer. But anyway, something worth trying out. Works out pretty good, preserves them, and have something to hang on to for a little while. So, anyway, something to try out, guys. Hope you learned something today.